Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And gosh, it, it is after midnight, almost one o'clock in the morning. Didn't even realize it was that late already. I wanted to real quick share this with you. A uh, good friend of mine sent this to me. And this is from the Canadian Prepper. The Russian Eichlander missiles are being moved to uh, Kyrgyzstan via rail. <clears throat> so I wanted to play this video here for you guys so you can see this for yourself. Um, Let's see here. Don't know if we have any. Don't have the way to do the volume. Well, it's the only thing you're hearing is actually the rail car moving around there. Uh, trying to see if we can't. Yeah. Well, we're now we're on the Canadian Preppers uh, channel here, but uh, but I don't see it actually. I don't see that on his. Um, Let's see here. I am not. Not seeing it any other way than what I'm seeing it right here. Uh, I was hoping it would show that there. But anyway, this is the Russian Eichlander, uh, which are they, they do carry nuclear capable warheads on these particular uh, um, mobile launchers there. And uh, so that's very much of a big concern as they put on their nuclear alert, the Eichlander M missile moved to Kirshen via, via rail. Now, I've not been able to independently confirm this uh, to determine if that is actually going on. I do know uh, in meeting uh, that I was in yesterday uh, that Joe Biden has already warned uh, the big uh, corporate leaders of Taiwan and let me just see. I don't even know if that's even made news or anything as of yet. Um, and But Biden has told the corporate leaders to get their assets uh, out of Taiwan uh, because they're about, uh, they're about to bring it down. Uh, China is about to take this place. Um, let's see. Forces would defend Taiwan against Chinese aggression. Uh, that was on, let's see, Japan's stance unchanged after Biden's Taiwan pledge, but wary uh, over Ukraine. Uh, that was a week ago. I will tell you this, though, and let me just see if I can't. Let's put Japan in here uh, as well. The Japanese are freaking out over the fact that Biden uh, has warned US companies to get their assets out of uh, out of the out of Taiwan. Let's see Biden cannot let Pacific Island nations fall into China's hands. That's what's being said there. Now, I was told that 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 Biden they will make a effort of war showing of good faith you might say over Taiwan. But they will intentionally lose the battle and allow Taiwan to go to the Chinese. The Chinese, as I was told, are in a dire strait when it comes to uh, economy right now. And Taiwan would be a big boost for China's economy because Taiwan is considered like one of the third, uh, third largest economies in this region of the world. Uh, and it's a major uh, influencer of our own economy. So, you know, I've been getting mixed messages from Washington. You know, a year ago, we were going to stand down no matter what. We'd moved out military assets out of the nation already. The head of the Pacific uh, uh, Command there had said he would not allow Taiwan to be another Afghanistan. So they had already begun to move military assets out of Taiwan. And then, only about a month or so ago, I was getting new uh, message coming out of Washington that we could not afford to allow Taiwan to fall in China's hands because it would bring us to a Great Depression. And now, as of yesterday, Biden has told the heads of companies, get your assets out of Taiwan because we will not be there much longer. Uh, and again, they will show a good faith uh, uh, as if we're going to protect Taiwan, but at the end of the day, we will allow the country to fold regardless. That's the latest.
And I can't say that that's not going to change again. Who knows at this point? Uh, also, I know that a lot of people have been worried about the global economy uh, crashing and things of that nature there. That was brought up as well. And I was told that the United States is the main global power that is preventing a total collapse of the world's economy. And as long as our nation continues to stand, we have the ability to keep that propped up. In other words, we make artificial money. Got it. But if something happens to the United States, whether it be war or meteorite, asteroid, etc., then all that could change instantly. And by the way, <clears throat> Hurricane Ian, right? Let me let me just share something with you. You want to talk about weird things that are going on. Hurricane Ian, as they call it here, monster hurricane. Um, back up. Oh gosh, how did I lose that? Hurricane. This I've been told, even from Washington that they will, they will more than likely have to upgrade the category from Category 4 to Category 5. 77, we're seeing right here on the news here, are believed to have been killed in this hurricane. Uh, I had a friend of mine who's a doctor in Orlando, and I talked to him right after the storm, and he said the worst mistake he made was driving to his office. He said, he could not believe the number of vehicles floating down the road. He said, Steve, the winds were one thing, but the water and the floods completely like nothing he'd ever seen before in his life. Over a foot of rain had fell in Orlando, I think in just a matter of hours. And he said, he could not, he said, luckily he's in a four-wheel drive, high, high floating four-wheel drive that kept him from having that same type of problem. But uh, death toll up to 77. Anyway, what did I want to tell you, though? Washington, our military was very concerned during this time. We, while, while this hurricane was creeping through, what you never hear about in the public eye is that we were tracking Russian subs off the coast of Florida. And, yeah, Russian subs uh, off the coast of Florida. Okay, during, let me see if I can pull this up, Hurricane. I got, I got a cat here that's got some, well, she's got a little bit of some problems here. Um, during this storm here. And the reason why um, this was all being done was because there was a fear that Russia might use some sort of weapon on Florida and make the storm appear worse than what it was. And uh, that was something they did not want anybody to know about. Oh my gosh, look at that road right there. Wow. I don't even know where that's at right there. Well, you know, actually, I think I do know where that's at. That looks like it's going over to, um, we used to live in Fort Myers, Florida. In fact, when I started my ministry, it was actually in that area there. And uh, that road right there happens to, it looks like it's going to, uh, what is that, Cape? Uh, oh gosh, what do they call it? Um, let's see. Uh, maybe I can look on there and see where that's at. But uh, let's see. All right. Damage to this. Yeah, Sanibel Causeway. Sanibel Island is what I was thinking. Uh, both of the out, outbound span to the island, which is home to about 7,500 people. Where the bridge once started to rise over the San Carlos Bay from uh, Punta Rosa now resembles a cliff with crumbled ribbons and concrete. My gosh. This reminds me of Ivan when Ivan came through. This cat has about lost her mind. Uh, but she's got nerve damage, the poor little thing. And uh, we had two of them born like that, so with, with nerve damage. But you know the funny thing is, 
they're two of the most loving cats of any cat you'll ever see. They love to be loved like no other cat. That is unbelievable, the flooding there. Just like Dr. Uh, my doctor shared with me, he said the flooding was unbelievable. And he was in Orlando and was speaking about that. Anyway, guys, uh, listen, I, I'll, I'll try to go more into these things with you uh, later. I wanted to share that with you, though, about uh, Taiwan, the situation there, Taiwan. Uh, definitely that's going to go down. And, and, of course, the heads of the company were given two years to get their assets out of there. But then I asked, is the Chinese going to wait two years before they go in and do an invasion? He said, no. He said, that will not happen at all. Uh, and uh, he said, so very, very, very troubling. Uh, anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I trust you have a great night.